Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the next uh, practice that comes into picture is the protection from weeds. So now we saw that how exactly uh, we uh, provided land, uh, provided water to the field. So now the question is we need to ensure that the plants do not get destroyed by some unwanted plants because we have taken, the farmers have taken enough care till now. So now they also need to ensure that somebody else, some villain should not come into picture and it should not spoil the entire effort. So that is what we are going to discuss in protection from weeds. First of all, what are weeds? Well, weeds are some unwanted plants which are present in the field. Now, when our little friend went to the village, he had seen so many things in, uh, in the green fields. He also saw when he came across a wheat field, he saw that it was not only the wheat plants, but there were some other plants as well, which were present there, here and there. So these kind of unnecessary plants which are present in the field, they are called weeds and we do not want them to be present. So if you have your wheat field, the field should only have the wheat plants, but that is not the case. And that is how crop cultivation is done. So if you want to cultivate wheat, the entire field is full of wheat but in between those wheat plants, you have some unwanted plants like here you can see. So these unwanted plants are the weeds and we do not want them to be there. So weeds are unwanted plants in the cultivated field. Now, interestingly, do you think that the farmer cultivated, I mean farmer has sown seeds for these unwanted plants also or the farmers planted these unwanted plants? No, not really. So these unwanted plants, they have uh, a characteristic that they can just grow anywhere in any condition. So they tend to grow by themselves. It is not required that the farmers will have to sow their seeds and they'll have to water it. They just grow on their own. And that is how they come into picture. So the farmers will have to give enough attention to see if there are no weeds present in the field. However, weeds are very commonly found in the by cultivated fields. So what can be done is how to protect our crops from the weeds because we do not want the weeds to spoil our crops. Now some of the examples of weeds are xanthium and parthenium. These are common examples of weeds. So this is how a xanthium weed looks like. Now it is a picture which has been taken from front. So if you look at it from far away, it will be a small plant. Similarly, parthenium is another weed. Now if you have never seen a weed, just go to your garden if you have one. Not even garden, even if you have plants in pots in the mud pots, you will see that if you have a particular plant, say a rose plant, but from the soil you will see some small small plants have come up with little leaflets and all. So they are unwanted plants. You never grew them but they just came out on their own. And sometimes these plants tend to grow further and become as big as the original plant. So these are some examples of weeds. Now the question is, how do weeds affect the crops? Why are we so scared of weeds? Why do we want to get rid of them as soon as possible? How can they harm the crops? So let us see, how do weeds affect the crops? Now what happens is when the weeds also start growing in the same space, it starts competing with the real crops for nutrients, space, water and light. So it, it becomes a kind of competitor. That is the plant, that is our desired crop which we have planted there. So those crops and the weeds, they become competitive of each other. Both are fighting for the same nutrient, same space, same water and light. So the result is that, let us suppose if this is the weed and this is our crop, maybe the wheat crop or the rice crop or whichever. Now what do we want? We do not want even a share of the nutrients or space or light to get I mean to get removed from the crops because that is what we want. We have put in all our efforts to provide the best facilities to the crop. So now we don't want to lose anything to the weed because weeds are something which are unwanted. We really don't want those plants. But still the weeds will be competing with the crops. Therefore what will happen? The nutrients which would have been available to the crop had the weeds not been there 
that would have been more now due to presence of the weeds the amount of nutrients which will be available to the crop or the space or the light everything will get decreased because some part of it will be taken in by the weeds and that is how the weeds are growing because the weeds are also growing so that means it is taking up some nutrients it is taking up some space so the weeds are actually growing at the cost of our desired crop so basically the growth of the weeds are impacting or adversely impacting the productivity of our crops so that is how weeds can affect the crops now sometimes it might happen that the weeds have grown so much that almost the amount of space occupied by the by our desired crops and the weeds are almost the same so that will become a disaster situation we really don't want that because we have put in so much of effort to uh, to plow the field or to water the field to provide manures fertilizers everything just to make sure that the crops get the best nutrients they get the best water the light and everything but now instead of the crops the weeds are ta taking some advantage out of it so this is how weeds can affect the crops and we don't want that to happen so what do we do we kill the weeds so how do we kill the weeds so for that we use the weed control techniques and in this we use chemicals called weedicides like how we have insecticides to kill insects pesticides to kill pests similarly we have weedicides to kill weeds so these are chemicals which kill weeds without damaging the crop so that is interesting that these chemicals are going to kill the weeds only because the weeds and the crops they are present very close to each other so if we just use any chemical which can even be dangerous to the crop so that is all the more risky for us the weeds will get killed but at the same time my crops are also getting killed and i don't want that so we have to apply certain chemicals which can kill only the weeds and not the crops so these type of chemicals are called weedicides and how do we apply these weedicides these weedicides are not applied directly because they are also some toxic materials so they are mixed with water so that's how it is diluted and then it is sprayed with the with the help of some spray so when you spray it now it is the concentration of the chemical is less because it is mixed with water and this spray will affect only the weeds so only these weeds will get kill and nothing will happen to the crops however while applying these weedicides it is extremely important now since these chemicals are not something which are very useful they are all harmful chemicals it is just that they do not harm these crops but these harmful chemicals should not be inhaled by any human being so when the farmers apply these they should make sure that they cover their nose so that they do not inhale these uh, chemicals because if they inhale these chemicals they might get some infection and they might fall ill because of the toxic substances getting inside their body so that is one precaution that needs to be taken care while applying these weedy sites to the fields Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.